the algorithm is a word that you guys hear way too often as viewers and creators have been talking about more and more and more over the past couple years because whether we like it or not this completely unknown and mysterious set of code has a large grasp on whether our videos get views or not. We are at the complete mercy of an algorithm that we know nothing about. But recently we've had a breakthrough in information regarding this algorithm. We've almost completely cracked the code. Recently, with the help of Nicholas DiOrio, Optimus, and Josh Pescator, I was able to dig up information on not only which channels are favored over others to get their videos promoted through a value called P-Score, but I was also able to uncover hidden ratings on individual videos and whether or not a video is being suppressed by the algorithm due to limited ads. First, let's talk about P-Score, because that's actually something that YouTube has shared with us on a video with 8,000 views on their YouTube advertisers channel. I'll let YouTube explain this one for me. P-Score is a more advanced proprietary algorithm designed to deliver robust channel selection improvements via an array of these five sophisticated signals. Popularity is driven by watch time, a proprietary metric that reveals repeat engaged viewership. Passion is based on how engaged an audience is with a channel. It uses several different kinds of signals to understand how often users interact with content. Protection continues to focus on content suitability by combining our latest classifiers with an added layer of validation so that P-Score outputs are working for your brand. Platform highlights content that's more frequently watched on large screens, such as TV screens, by a rapidly growing audience of empowered viewers. Production includes content that employs sophisticated camera work and cinematic technique. And since we can access a multitude of proprietary signals that no third parties can, P-Score is also proprietary. Popularity, passion, protection, platform, and production, all proprietary signals combined to surface among the most engaging and brand appropriate content on YouTube across music, beauty and fashion, video gaming, and other key categories. And the P-Score is updated regularly. So if there's a new star or breakthrough talent that meets brand suitability and other requirements, the P-Score will automatically include them as part of Google Preferred the next time content is refreshed for your brand to stay relevant with audience interests and behavior. So yes, P-Score is an amalgamation of these five characteristics that are used to determine a score for your channel, and based off your channel's score, that is how you will be promoted in the algorithm, since being promoted in the algorithm is directly correlated to the type of ads you get on your videos, which is directly affected by how high your P-score is. Think about it. What type of videos would YouTube want to promote in order to make the most money? Videos that have the most premium ads on them. And how do they determine which channels get those premium ads? It's based on P-Score. This is why the system exists. So normally you can't even see your P-Score on your channel anywhere. Not in the YouTube Analytics page, just nowhere. But through the code of YouTube, we have actually been able to find a way to see every channel's P-Score. And the method to do this is actually relatively simple. You guys could do it as well right now. All you have to do is right click on any video, click on View Page Source, then press Control F and type in Channel P. Next to that, you will see a number usually between 200 and 1000. How do we know most channels are within this range? Well, me and Nicholas Diorio went through over 200 channels and got the P-score of every single one of them. Here's a couple things we've learned. First off, channel P-scores are based on region. So your channel could have a completely different P-score depending on what country the viewer is watching in. For example, my P-score in the US is 698, but in Canada, it's only 675. Usually the difference between Canada and US, which are the only two regions we personally looked at, is that Canada is about 20 to 30 lower, although there's a couple outliers. For example, the NHL has a much higher score in Canada, presumably because hockey is more popular in Canada, so Canadian advertisers are more inclined to promote on a channel like that over the US advertisers. People with 0 to 1000 subs generally have a P-score of around 200 to 300, Channels with P-scores of 400 or 500 are usually around the 10k mark, and then channels with a P-score of 600 to 700 usually have about 100,000 subscribers. Channels with a million to 10 million are typically within 800, but some channels we've seen are in the high 700s. 
And then channels with a 900 plus P score are usually channels with over 10 million subscribers like PewDiePie, Mr. Beast, Markiplier, stuff like that. And then channels with 1000 P score are what you would expect, basically YouTube's golden boys, late night talk show hosts like Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, Seth Meyers, news channels like CBC, Fox, BBC, CNN, and then for some reason, Will Smith has over a thousand. We all know how much YouTube likes Will Smith, so no surprise there. Yeah. Generally, your P-score is higher for the country you cater to. Like, for example, if you make content in German, your P-score is going to be much higher in Germany than it is in a non-German-speaking country. So in the description of YouTube's P-score video, they say that people within the top 5% of P-score are the one to get YouTube preferred premium ads. Based on what we found in the YouTube code, 800 P-score is the threshold in order to get into the YouTube preferred ads. This is a program that a lot of people have been talking about. If you remember back in 2017, when Logan Paul got into controversy, it was talked about that he was taking out of Google preferred ads, so you may have heard of it there. Getting YouTube preferred ads is a monumental boost in how well your channel will do, both view-wise and monetarily. People have talked about it doubling their CPMs, and of course YouTube would want to push channels with more premium ads on them so you get a boost in the algorithm itself. It's why you see channels with around a million subs more often in your feed than channels with under a million subs, because channels with under a million subs usually don't have Google preferred ads, and channels with over a million subs usually do, although this isn't based on the sub count, it's based on the p-score which the sub count does influence, but there's obviously the other factors that we talked about earlier. The most divisive of these factors is protection, which a lot of people have been talking about as of late. It's basically what you can say in your video in order to have it more suitable to children or teenagers or adults. It's why you see so many people in their videos now censor out swear words and talk about not being able to do things because they want to appease to the algorithm. During our research, we discovered not only what your channel's p-score is, but also what your channel video rating is, which is what YouTube uses to determine what types of ads go on your video and whether it gets demonetized or not based on the type of stuff that is said within the video. You can search this up by using the same method as searching up p-score, just right click on any video, go to view page source, and then use control F to search up content L, and next to it you will see dv underscore g or pg or teen or ma or x depending on the rating of your video. Through our research I can tell you that majority of videos on YouTube are rated either pg or teen. Channels that are rated g are usually stuff like Ryan's toy reviews, stuff that adults would never want to watch that is 100% family friendly and brand safe. Channels that tend to censor out swear words and would be good for either adults or children to watch. Channels like Arlo, who is a Nintendo channel who doesn't swear and is very family friendly, will have the video rating PG. And then channels that are a little more edgy and geared towards adults, like my videos for example, will typically be rated teen. There's very few videos that I've seen that are rated MA or X. I feel like you have to go way out of your way to make yourself an adult content creator in order to get these labels. Typically without trying, your video will probably land between PG and teen, which both ratings through our research seem to throttle your videos in the algorithm and give it a higher chance to get tagged demonetization. You know how everyone's complaining, regardless of the type of content they make, that their videos are getting tagged as demonetized or limited ads? It's because their videos are getting tagged as PG or teen. A majority of videos on YouTube, regardless of what content is in them, is just unfortunately going to be rated one of these ratings. Usually you can get your videos turned back to fully monetized and green through the manual review process, but obviously the downside to that is that it takes a while to get through the manual review process and you can't release your video right away, or you just release your video while it's under review and then the first day of your video being out is just throttled by YouTube directly as you can see in this code. It's just an unfortunate reality. At this point, I don't even see much reason to even go out of your way to censor swear words and stuff because YouTube is just going to rate you PG. Through documenting over 200 channels with Nicholas Diorio and getting the P scores for each one while glancing at the video rating at the same time, across many, many different types of content and many different types of channels, the only ones that have seen rated G are videos that are catered to extremely young children, like Ryan Toy Reviews or blippy everything else 
Minecraft videos, other content that you would think is appropriate for all audiences just gets rated PG. So that's all we found out so far, but no doubt that there's more to discover and connect the dots with in regards to this new information. If you guys want to check out all the research for yourself, there will be links in the description below to the over 200 channels that me and Nicholas Diorio got Peace scores from, a document written by the YouTuber Optimus describing what I said in this video and more, and an article regarding the situation on Medium.com written by Chris Stokel Walker. Also, huge thanks to Josh Pescator who helped us out with this entire process. The link to his Twitter and YouTube will also be in the description below. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section below, as well as hear what your channel rating is. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to watch this on a TV because apparently it helps my peace score go up. Subscribe with notifications on if you want to see more. Thank you to my channel members and I will see you in another video.